Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Smarts, the show where people try to prove how bright they are by predicting how dim other people can be. Now I've scoured the planet looking for average everyday men and women and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a chalupa short of a combination plate. And speaking of our players, let's meet them. We have Tilly. Hi, Tilly. And Big Frederick right there. What's up, Frederick? Now remember, guys, it's uh, winner take all here on Street Smarts. The winner keeps the loot. The loser gets the boot. Now, let's make the, meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. On my port of call, I met Ellen in Boston. So Ellen, tell me about being in the Navy. It's fun. It's active and fun. It's not just a job. It's an adventurous. <laughs> so what do you do in the Navy? I basically order um, parts for the Navy, for the ship. Are we as the American taxpayers paying like $4,000 for a toilet seat cover? I'm not gonna say. <laughs> in the Navy. In the Navy. You, <laughs> you can sail the seven seas. Seven seas it is. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I decided to mess with Texas and bumped into Billy. I'm here in the heart of Deep Elm in Dallas, Texas on a Saturday night, and I bumped into Billy Blair. What do you do, Billy? I bartend and I play in a band. What band are you playing? Surgeon General, <laughs> Dallas, Texas. What kind of music do you guys play? Uh, balls out rock and roll, in your face. Like that? Okay. Nah. I'd rather not have balls in my face, but... Do you do any uh, impersonations of celebrities? I used to do, like, John Travolta. It's so unbelievable, I could just die. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent! I was sweet! Finally, I got my chance to be a human beatbox for a guy they call T. Okay, T, what are you doing down here today? I had a job interview, so I'm just kind of cruising the rest of okay. the day, you know. So what else do you like to do here on the promenade? Uh, look at the women. <laughs> I'll tell you it. So do you have any uh, hobbies or talents? I love to act, dance, rap, and write music. Can you show us uh, some of the, the moves you got here? Uh, <laughs> the sidewalk. Hey, it's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? Yeah. We ask the same question to all three people in the field and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice and a correct guess will earn you $100. Very nice. Okay, it's now or never, so let's get going. Here's the first question I asked to Ellen, Billy, and T. I asked them, if you want to kill Superman, what do you use? <laughs> Who knew it, guys? What do you think? Go ahead and flip them up. Do you think it was Ellen, Billy, or Tremaine that knew the answer? Okay, you're locked in. We have an Ellen and a Tremaine. Interesting. Now, Tilly, Tilly you think Ellen knew this? I do. She's a Superman fan. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's a woman. Oh, Come on. Okay. Let's we take like a look. Those see if she can get it. <laughs> Ellen, if you want to kill Superman, what do you use? Crypto. Crypto? Uh, yes. Crypto. What does crypto look like? It's silver, shiny rock. And how would you use it to kill him? Throw it at him. <laughs> Tilly, I'm sorry, that's an incorrect answer. Crypto is not correct. Now, Frederick, we're going to see if T can do this. You think he knows, yeah, huh? I think he does. I mean, he's a kid. He probably reads comics, Superman, the whole, you know, okay. he Okay, let's take a look, bet, see if we can get bet. you on the board. If you want to kill Superman, what do you use? No sunlight. No sunlight? <laughs> Complete, total darkness. That'll kill Superman? Yeah, because the sunlight is what controls his powers. <laughs> <laughs> That's an incorrect answer, Frederick. He did not know the answer. It's kryptonite. Kryptonite. That's what kills Superman. She was kind of close with the crypto, close, but yeah, close. but no cigar. No cigar. All right, here's the next question, guys. I asked all three of them. It was, <laughs> who sings about wanting you to suck on his salty chocolate balls? Yeah, who knew this one? What do you think? Do you think it was Ellen, Billy, or T? T is in Tremaine. All right, Frederick's not sure here. Uh, All right. uh, okay. okay, you're both locked in. Okay. All right, you're both going with Billy. Very interesting. Now, uh, uh, before we check in with Billy to see if we can get you guys each 100 bucks, let's see what Ellen had to say about this one. Who sings about wanting you to suck on his salty chocolate balls? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it would be me. Brad Walter. That's a new um, singer. Yeah. It's actually, it's the chef on South Park. Oh, really? Yeah. I've never seen this. Voiced by Isaac Hayes. Okay. Who also sang Shaft. Now I know. Yeah. That's Shaft. He's a bad mother. Man. I can't see. <laughs> I sailors don't okay. say oh. oh, yeah, sailors don't swear. Yeah, all right. All right, thanks, Sean. Now, listen, you both have Billy. Let's see if we can get you each 100 bucks. 
Who sings about wanting you to suck on his salty chocolate balls? Oh, it's a guy from uh, South Park. Uh, oh, God. The, the black dude. Right. The chef guy. What's his name? <laughs> I don't know his name. His name's Chef. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh. All right, Billy came through. You both had Billy. There's a hundred bucks for each of you. Of course, uh, he was referring to his candy treat on South Park. Okay, had to throw that in there. All right, guys, last question of the round. You guys are doing great. Uh, according to the adage, a penny saved is what? Okay, who knew that? What do you think? Uh, Ellen, Billy, or Tremaine knew that one? Tilly, we're gonna find out how she met her fiance after the break. And Frederick, you're locked I'm in? Keep, I'm gonna keep her with Okay, Billy. we're both keep locked in. We got a Tremaine and Billy. Just wait. All right, Frederick, you think Billy's gonna get this, right? I think, he seems like he's got common sense. Okay, let's take Despite. a look. According to the adage, a penny saved is what? Oh, shit. Penny saved, uh, 100 bucks. Is it 100 bucks? <laughs> sure. That's an incorrect dish. I'm sorry, Frederick. He has common sense, but not oh. enough. All right, on that one at least. Billy, you're cool. I like you. All right, Tilly, uh, we're going to check in with Tremaine for you, see if he can uh, double your score here. Let's take a look. According to the adage, a penny saved is what? A penny gained. A penny gained. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had Tremaine. You got it wrong, Tilly. I'm sorry. That's I'm not the right answer. I'm losing my faith in men. I, I don't know. know. Penny saved is a penny earned. All right, speaking of pennies, we got a lot over here. Tilly, you got $100. to figure out who blew it when we return. Evo Mike, pronounce this word. Hologen. Hologen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts. It's time to meet our players. Now, Tilly, I understand a, a friend of yours had a, needed some help on a college project. You helped him out. What was the deal? Yes, actually, I met this guy who yeah. needed help on a student film. Mm -hmm. So I went in to do the film, and I didn't know what the film was about. And it, You get there, and? He wanted me to do nudity. Yeah! yeah. And, the, and the footnote to the story is and this guy. I did the nudity, and now he's my fiance. She's engaged to the guy, yeah! See, that guy's all she needs is a video camera and a little imagination. All right, now, Frederick, tell us about you uh, riding a 10-speed bike one what? time. Well, Frank, I just learned the hard way as yeah. a kid that those brakes are in the handlebars yeah. and not the pedal. So I'm backpedaling down a hill, yeah. crash into like Thinking somebody's house yeah. in the bushes and just end up toppling over the bushes. Okay. But you know, okay. I learned. But you were young and you could, you, you, you're, exactly. you're all right now. I bounced back. Okay, all right, all right Frederick. Nice. Thanks for both being here. All right, it's time to take off the gloves as we enter our next round. Who blew it? This time we asked the same question, only two of our Asphalt Einsteins. One answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Tilly or Frederick correctly identifies who blew the question, they get 200 bucks. Very nice. And in this round, you guys, you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap sitting in front of you. Here's how it works. When you hear a question you think will stump your opponent, slap the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. Now remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely. Okay guys, here's the first question I asked to both Ellen and to Billy. I asked them, you've heard of 20,000 leagues under the sea. What's a league? So, oh my God, Tilly, you've been dunced. Frederick, put it on there. All right, Tilly, if you cannot answer this correctly, Frederick will get the $200, but if you do answer it right, the money's yours, and we're going to put the cap on him. I'm going to read the question. you got five seconds. You've heard of 20,000 leagues under the sea. What's a league? I believe a league is 12,000 feet. Okay, Tilly, I need you to be a little more specific. Okay, 12,000 feet deep. Uh, deep. Uh, In more the info. ocean. Okay, that's a correct answer. Tilly got it. Tilly, put the cap on Frederick. 200 bucks for you. You take an early lead. Or you can put it on the ground or it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now Tilly and, uh, uh, there you go. All right, uh, Tilly and Frederick, the question again, who blew it, Ellen or Billy? What do you think, Flip it? Okay, you're, you're staying with Billy. Oh, you're both locked in. You're both going with Billy, huh? Okay, let's see if we can get you guys some money. Let's check out Billy. You've heard of 20,000 leagues under the sea, right? Yeah. Okay. What's a league? Measure of depth. Measure of depth? Yep. Where at? In under the water. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he got it right, guys. I'm sorry. He got it right. Uh, Ellen's the one who blew it. Let's take a look. Ellen. Yes. You've heard of 20,000 leagues under the sea. What's a league? In a term, it's a fish okay. underneath the sea. <laughs> Carry on. Hey, well, Carry on. Actually, league. It's like it's like a, a, a nautical term, like a navy term. 
for like, is it really? For oh, like, you're in the Navy. No, for like how deep water is. No. I, I don't know. It's just. You, you probably thought she'd get that, didn't you, contestants? I'm sorry. She failed you. Yeah, yeah. She, she didn't know. I, I, she's in the Navy. She didn't know. Navy. All right, guys. I know. Here's the next question I asked to Billy and to T. Uh, what is Dr. Kevorkian famous for? Who blew it? What do you think, guys? You think Billy or T blew this one? What do you think? Tilly's got an early lead here. All right, you're both locked in. You both think T. Frederick, you think T blew this? I think he did. Yeah? I, I, I just got a feeling that he just doesn't Okay, know see, that. we can get you guys 200 bucks each. Let's find out. T, what is Dr. Kevorkian famous for? He was a dentist, wasn't he? Was he? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he was a deadly dentist. Okay. They made a movie about him. I think. <laughs> Three out of Tilly up to 500. The correct answer, assisted suicides. Dr. Kevorkian, Dr. Death. All right, okay. Here's uh, the last question of the round, guys. It's a question I asked to Ellen and a T. Finish the line. Everything's blank in Texas. Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Ellen or Tremaine? All right, you're both rolling here. Okay, well, you're locked in again. You both think uh, Tremaine again. How Tilly, you think T missed this one? Uh, yeah, he's not a really good standing point right now. All right, so, let's yeah. take a look. I'm going with the girl. <laughs> Finish the line. Everything's blank in Texas. Big. Everything's big in Texas. There you go. Like, what are they, what are they, right? Yeah, you can <laughs> You both had Tremaine. He got it right. I'm sorry, guys. You said he'd blow it. He didn't. Looks like Ellen's the one who blew it. Everything's big in Texas. All right, let's recap the scores. Tilly, 500 bucks. Nice job. Yeah. Got a lead because of the dots. Frederick, for 300 bucks. You're right there. Don't worry about it. Now that our players think they know our Boulevard Brainiacs, we'll see who they choose to ride when we come back. Yeah. What road race is 26.2 miles long? Indianapolis 500. Indianapolis 500. Okay, yeah. So why do they call it the Indianapolis 500 if it's only 26.2 miles? 500 kilometers? Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Head on out to the stable because it's time to pick your pony. This time, Tilly and Frederick will each choose one of the three scholars for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks. Yeah. And to keep you on your toes, we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round. Only this time it's worth 300 clams. Now, remember, there's only one dunce remaining in the game. Player who is trailing chooses first. That's Frederick. So who would you like to ride out the round with, I'm Frederick? I'm going to choose Tremaine. You're going to go with T. All right. I like him, too. All right. Now, Tilly, what about you? I'm sticking with the lady. Sticking with, with Ellen. Ellen. Go with Ellen. All right. Okay. All right, Frederick. First question to T was, what isn't a mime supposed to do? Do you think he got that right or wrong? What do you think, Frederick? 300 uh, uh, bucks on the line. You can take the lead. I'm going to say that he got it Wrong. You think you got it wrong? All right, you can take the lead if you predicted it right. What isn't a mime supposed to do? Talk. Do you like mimes? No. <laughs> They're scary. <laughs> he got that right. I'm sorry, Frederick. You got to get it wrong. You can't take the lead there. Oh, Don't wow. worry. We got a couple more questions for you. Yeah. All right, Tilly, you can extend your lead here with this question, Ellen. Okay, yes. What is a mosh pit? Do you think? Oh, oh my God, Frederick, you've been done. Frederick, you can put your paddle down now. Frederick, you've been done 300 bucks on the line. I'm okay. going to read the question to you one more time. you got five seconds. What is a mosh pit? A mosh pit is a pit at like hardcore metal or punk rock shows where people are dancing and thrashing and throwing each other around. Yeah. That's the correct yeah. answer. That's 300 bucks for Frederick. He does take the lead after all. Nice job, Tilly. <laughs> Sorry, Tilly. All right, now, Tilly, do you think Alan got that right or wrong? Tilly, you can retake the lead she here. she got it wrong. She got it wrong. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. What is a mosh pit? Underneath your arm. Right, that's where you have the mosh pit? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's the mosh pit. Why do they call it the mosh pit? Because it stinks underneath there. Moshy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she got it wrong. Way to go, Tilly. 300 bucks for you. Back and forth we go. You're back in the lead. Good game here. All right, Frederick, the next question to T was, according to the TV show, how much did Steve Austin, the bionic man, cost? Uh, you think T got that right or I wrong? Think, I think he got it wrong. He's kind of young, so he may not even, I don't know. I, don't, I think he may okay. not know that. All right, let's see if you can retake the lead here, buddy. According to the TV show, how much did Steve Austin, the bionic man, cost? $50,000? Because $50,000? <laughs> Give or take a couple of dollars? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Frederick. 300 bucks for you. Up to $900. You take the lead on the silly. The correct answer is 
Six million dollar man. All right. Oh, I'm showing my age. God. All right. Uh, next question, Alan Tilly. This is uh, for you. In slang, what's an idiot box? You think she got that right or wrong? Um, she's been letting me down yeah. lately, so I'm gonna go with wrong. You're gonna stay consistent yeah. here on the wrong. Okay, let's find out. See if you can take the lead again. In slang, what's an idiot box? That's a new one. Idiot box. Yeah. It means you're just a dimwick. Stupid <laughs> dimwick. Downright idiot. Actually, you know what it is? It's the television. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> That's a correct prediction. Way to go, Kelly. Another three hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's a TV. I don't, okay. I don't really know. Okay, Frederick, next question to you. You can retake the lead. This is okay. the last question to okay. T in the round for you. Okay. I asked T, what is foreplay? <laughs> think he got that right or wrong? What do you think, buddy? He's the guy. I, I, think, I think he knows what it is because okay. he's just. Tell me, don't help him. Don't tell him that. All right. Nah. <laughs> All right, you think he got, it, he right? got it right? Let's I'm going to say right. I'm going to okay. say right. T, what is foreplay? It's when you get the girl aroused. <laughs> I love foreplay. You like it. <laughs> like it. What's yeah. your favorite part of foreplay? <sighs> Oral. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's your correct prediction, Frederick. Way to go. Another 300 bucks yeah. for you. You're in the lead, but Tilly's got one more chance to get $300. All right, here's the last question around for you, Tilly. All right. In slang, what does it mean if someone tells you to talk to the hand? Do you think she oh, got that right or wrong? The girlfriend knows this. Oh, all right, let's see it. She's You're getting saying, it right. All right, let's see if we can get you into the lead before the last round. In slang, what does it mean if someone tells you to talk to the hand? Talk to the hand because I'm not talking to you right now. Oh, okay. So, all right, I'm going to start talking to you, and then you then make me talk to your hand. So, anyway, listen, what's up? Uh, talk to the hand. But I thought maybe, you know, like, we could... Maybe after the... Because you're in the Navy. <laughs> Guys, this is a great lead change. Let's take a look at the scores. Tilly, you got 1,400 bucks. Very key to get that last, last prediction right. Frederick, 1,200 bucks. This is a great game. Now, when we return, Tilly and Frederick will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Ellen, Billy, and Tremaine. The leads choose one of the three street scholars, predict whether they'll get it right or wrong, and make their last wager. Here's the question I asked all three. In the children's book, Charlotte's Web, what is Charlotte? Yeah, so stay tuned because it ain't over until we've made The Wager of Death. Don't go away, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope someone knows CPR because it's time for our final round, The Wager of Death. Now, yeah, oh yeah. Dilly and Frederick, here's the dilio. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Recap the scores. Tilly, you're in the little lead here, 1,400 bucks. Yeah. Frederick, not far behind, you got 1,200. Now remember, only one of you will get out of this place with the cash, which means it all rides on this final prediction. Here's a question I asked to Ellen, Billy, and Tremaine. In the children's book, Charlotte's Web, what is Charlotte? All right, Frederick, you're trailing, but by only, by only $200. Whose clip do you want to see? Who'd you choose here, buddy? You're going with Tremaine. Very nice. All right, Tilly, you're in the lead. All the money's well riding on this. Who did you want to see? You also want to see Tremaine. Very interesting. All right, well, nobody picked Ellen or uh, Billy, so we'll say bye to them. All right, guys, only one clip in the final round here. This is huge. All the money rides on Tremaine. Let's see what he said. In the children's book, Charlotte's Web, what is Charlotte? A spider, come on, who doesn't know that? <laughs> All right, Tremaine just said a spider. That is the correct answer. Now, Frederick, you have $1,200. You went with Tremaine. He's been good to you all game. Did you say he'd get it right or wrong? Doesn't look good here. What'd you say, buddy? You said he'd get it wrong. How much of your $1,200? bucks? You bet. $10.50 takes you $150. bucks. All right, you're still in this game. Don't worry. Now, Tilly, you also had Tremaine. He got the answer right. Now, you have $1,400. bucks. If you got this right, you're adding to your total. Did you say right or wrong? You said he would. Oh, you said he'd get it wrong. I hope you didn't wager too much. How much did you wager of your $1,400? You wagered $1,300. Oh. 